ba 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 Notorious Nation, thanks for coming to another one of my videos. Today we have the Burger King 100 Chicken Nugget Challenge. Got the 100 nuggets here. I got all seven of their sauces. They're, they were very generous with the sauces. I have barbecue, ranch, honey mustard, zesty, sweet and sour, buffalo, and marinara. I'm not sure if some of these go that well with the chicken nuggets, but I will use at least some of all the sauces when I do this, and I'll let you know at the end which one I think is the best. So let's get this started. See my nice new cups I have. Today's video is a little bit different than my normal videos. Of course, I'm trying to eat as fast as I can in this video. However, I'm also trying to use all that sauce in front of me. Uh, I want to make sure I dunk each and every one of these nuggets and to see which Burger King sauce I like the best. They gave me seven sauces as I covered them earlier, but I'm not sure marinara is really supposed to be used as a dipping sauce, but they did give me that as a sauce. The reason I say that is the pack looked a little bit different than the other ones. But overall, I'm going through them fairly well. It takes a little bit getting used to having to hold the condiment container and then dunk with one hand and then have to put it down to get the glass, but things are going very well. I assume in the beginning you saw my uh, Brandon to Garbage Disposal Clark glass. He's another competitive eater and I'm going to have a clip of his at the end of this video as a little introduction of what he does. So stay tuned to the end for that. I was actually surprised how slow some of these nuggets were going down. They were 10 for $1.49, you might have seen in the beginning of the video. And when they're only 15 cents each, I, I expected them to be very small. Actually, they had a, a good amount of chicken on each of these nuggets. And uh, I would get a, two or three in my mouth, and then I would have a problem with swallowing them uh, quickly. And I would have to drink some water. Uh, people always ask me, like, how do you pick these challenges out? Uh, I randomly picked this because 100 sounds nice, and it's also about 3,400 calories in nuggets and maybe an extra three or 400 in sauces. So while that's a lot of calories, this is all I ate the entire day uh, for probably about a day and a half. This is all the food I ate. So it kind of balances out. That's too many calories for the normal human, of course, but uh, I don't eat days around my filming. Unless I'm eating something really simple like you know, celery or grapes, something very low calorie. I've seen some other competitive eaters try to do chicken nugget challenges and they have issues either opening the containers or not getting enough. Uh, I just went ahead and opened them up beforehand as you can see and this Burger King restaurant, which is a different one than I got the Burger King tacos at, they happened to just close. I don't know if it's because they're doing horrible tacos or it was a coincidence. But this new Burger King location, which is a little further Zesty. away, they gave me plenty of condiments. I actually had a bunch left over. So I was really happy about that and appreciative of uh, them helping me out for this video. At this point, I've gone through all of the condiments and I definitely think Zesty is the best, but second time around through all the condiments I'm, I'm gonna lock that down a couple of them i really didn't understand the marinara i was not understanding that that to me didn't add anything didn't make anything taste better and i wasn't so big in the sweet and sour either but i think i at least have a routine going down where i hold the condiment cup dunk it eat it, it seems like I, I might be picking up pace here i'm not really sure but it's, it's not the easiest thing to dunk in a small condiment container and eat food fast. If this had been a normal eating contest, I would be uh, trying to pre-chew or shred those chicken nuggets up and, and throw them in my mouth two handfuls at a time. Uh, fill my mouth, use the glass to 
can't find right. the water to swallow that. And then just hold that glass in my hand the entire time from then out, eating one hand and glass in the other hand. But when I film these videos for the house, non-contest situations, I'm trying to eat, uh, uh, approximating how you would eat in normal life, but obviously doing it quicker and I'm standing. When I film these videos, I'm always nervous. I set up extra cameras and I try to plan for everything. But it seems like no matter how many videos I make, there's always a surprise that comes up. And you can't just cut the camera and then restart because then people will assume you're cheating or something. You'll see what happens now. Ah. So luckily I had another camera set up. It's not as good as quality. That's why I didn't cut to it very often during this video. But as I filmed the, the box that fell over, I did a quick count and there was only nine nuggets. And then I'm like, oh no, I lost a nugget. Where did it go? And it turns out it fell on the floor. So picked it up, no harm done. Cause I don't think it was five seconds yet. And my floors are extra clean. So I think I'm good that way. To be honest with you, I think of all the things I eat in life, eating a chicken nugget off the floor is probably at the bottom of the list of things that should worry me. Probably 16 pounds of peas or all the other food I've eaten might be a little bit more concerning. I upped the speed to twice real time here, so the rest of the video should play very quickly. Uh, thanks for coming to another video, but I do want to keep you around to the end where I give my review of the sauces and then as well as to see Brandon Clark's video I just put a short clip of one of his videos on here uh, just to show you that he's doing some stuff that other eaters aren't doing and he also has you know the uh, typical uh, competitive eating videos as well but it's a great channel he's a good friend of mine please stop by and check him out I'll give you the link and uh, I'll back off now and let the rest of these nuggets go down. <clears throat> wow, that was the Burger King 100 Chicken Nugget Challenge. It was a little bit of a challenge, breaking a sweat here. Um, overall, recommendation. If you're going to try this or just eat chicken nuggets in general at Burger King, they're actually pretty good. A lot of chicken in there wasn't just all breading. So I liked it, and I think I like it better than the McDonald's chicken nuggets. But I would go with the zesty sauce is my number one. Honey mustard was okay. Ranch, I would say I would pass on the ranch. Barbecue was okay, as you'd expect it. Sweet and sour wasn't that good. Buffalo was good. A marinara, I, I would do a pass. So, zesty one, buffalo two, barbecue three, and I think you can pretty much skip the rest of them. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching another video, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bonus chug here at the end of this video. See my man Brandon? Nope. Gotta get another one. That's better. Oh, got some more. Ah, spell my tongue. The goatee. That's a wrap.